And it's new car day. It's been a while since I did a Gaslands build and so I figured I'd get back into it by doing a custom 77 Dodge van. It is chrome. I am wondering how this is going to come out. I do not know how the chrome is going to come off, but my idea for this one is kind of a, uh, think about it like a, a roadie van for a punk rock uh, band. That's kind of the, the idea that I'm going for here. It's going to be uh, black with uh, maybe some sort of punk rock paraphernalia all over it. Obviously some guns. We're going to need to get some guns going. So um, that's really what it is. And so I'm going to crack it open and kind of look at this and give you guys a look before I take the paint off and get the wheels off with that. Um, not that heavy, as I was thinking. Uh... Yeah, as I thought, it's pretty basic inside. Not much going on. Um, I almost was looking for one with a little slider on here, but it didn't. Ha this one doesn't have that sliding. It just has the back doors, so uh, we'll make it do with that. Almost looks like a mold line up there or something. What is that? It looks like a almost an imperfection in the casting. Interesting. We'll figure it out though. So I'm going to get the, uh, tap this off and get it in the paint remover to remove some paint. And, um, we'll come back once it's all disassembled and, uh, begin this build. It should be a really quick one. All right, so what I didn't realize once I got this car apart is that it's all plastic and that is a mold line at the top there. <laughs> so it actually made the build uh, a little bit more interesting. Instead of using the strip paint stripper, I used a uh, sandpaper. And so that's kind of what it looked like when I was done. My goal here is to paint to not really paint some graphics, but just do some graphics on the side to make it look like a, a kind of a gig van, music poster sort of uh, theme inspired. So this is just images I printed out on a normal piece of paper from a normal printer. It's nothing really special. Um, the paper is thick in scale to these Hot Wheel cars, and so you need to thin it down a little bit. And the way to thin it down and to kind of weather it even is to just take sandpaper and start sanding down the back of the image. So you cut the image out and then you just start sanding it down and removing that paper from the back so that all you see is really the graphic. You're sanding it down to a, a very paper thin kind of layer. Once you have that, you can almost see like, you can almost see that you can see through the graphic right there as it sits. This is just like a normal white PVA glue and so I've got that, that paper really, really thin, and I lay down a little piece of uh, PVA glue, but first I realized I wanted to make it a little bit more weathered. That was, the, the edges were too clean, too squared away, and so I'm using the sandpaper just to sand it down a little bit more. And the more you sand those edges, the more they're gonna kind of fray, and you almost leave the filament of the paper. And that's all you'd see. And so, again, watered down white PVA glue. Drop it in and then you cover it with the glue to seal it and just let it dry overnight. It's a pretty simple little process. Um, I didn't like the windows that came with the van, so I'm going to make some new windows with just the little clamshell wrapping that came from the, the Hot Wheel wrapper best way to do that. I like to frost the windows over and so I'm just sanding them with just normal sandpaper to make it look kind of frosted over and just a little bit more dirty frosted glass instead of a clear glass. Uh, and then just marking out where those windows are going to lie. Not really rocket science, you just kind of hold it up and um, get it to work. A little super glue on the inside once you're done. 
and it should fit right in. So always save that clamshell wrapping. You're never gonna really know when you're gonna need it. And that was uh, one of those times that I needed it and it kind of came in handy. So uh, held it there to get it dry and we're done. Putting it back together, um, I just used normal black spray paint. I don't think I mentioned that, but just a normal black primer to paint the vehicle. Had a lot of issues getting it in with that, that internal seat and everything like that. You can see me kind of fighting with it quite a bit. And uh, I think that I eventually just ended up ripping it out and just not even putting that in there. I just used the top of the van and the, the chassis as you probably will see right here. Mixing up some five minute epoxy. Making it, uh, I like this five minute epoxy, it's really thick and so it kind of creates a little bit of a gap filler along with it's super sturdy. You're not gonna get this car apart once it's done. And if you're lucky, it'll uh, leak into the wheels and lock the wheels in for you for your game too. Uh, a little bit of it spilled on the outside and so I just kind of rolled with that spill and added more to it and then dabbed it with a paper towel to create some texturing um, and once the epoxy dries, it'll just be like a nice kind of uh, weathered metal instead. Um, adding more detail to the windows here, just normal jewelry wire and some um, super glue doing the uh, baking soda trick to kind of get that super glue to actuate really fast. And uh, just kind of randomly placing wires and stuff over the window to reinforce that window. I'm assuming that if you're in the gas land, the wasteland, you're going to want to reinforce those windows and give you a little bit more protection. So aluminum wire will work just fine for that. Um, front looked a little bare to me. So I had some scrap plastics uh, for like a little barrier. Uh, and so I'm kind of makeshifting a ram right now with some wire because this chassis was plastic or be because the, the body was plastic on this thing, I was able to drill through it really easily. And so I drilled through it and added a little bit of a kind of a plastic bit there to make it look like a, he just kind of wedged in a, a metal grating to give it a little bit more reinforcement. Guns on the top, 3D printed. And uh, going back to my 3D, or my, my can trick here that I did a while back, I realized that there was a, a graphic here that just had recycled metal, something along those lines, but the metal in that was just the perfect size for a license plate. And so we got a little metal license plate here. I uh, don't know if I took a good picture of that, but I did take one on my cell phone. I'll throw it in here. There it is. So you can see that it's almost perfect scale for a um, license plate. So that was a, a happy little lucky accident there as I was looking over the soda can trying to figure out what I wanted to use. Um, and then, you know, to, just to do that little rock and roll kind of punk vibe, we got some words that I wanted to kind of cut out just with different letters, trying to figure out what I could make with letters that would be large enough to kind of show on the side of this panel van. And I was able to find a little bit of a phrase that fits the punk rocking rocker sort of vibe. Um, suck it, I think it says, right next to the black flag logo that's tattered and torn. Um, the suck it came from uh, the word nutrition facts, I think. The only thing I used out of facts was the C and then everything else was like the word nutrition. And so just kind of looking at the words and kind of doing a little scrabble to figure out what I can write on the side of that van turned out perfect. Um, AK interactive oil washes on, you know, the, the guns and some of the sides just to get, to get it a little bit dirty. My favorite rust technique here, dry pastels and isopropyl alcohol, just shave a little bit of dry pastel down, wet it with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, mix it up. Depending on how thick you mix it will be how saturated that 
rust effect is going to be. Um, yeah, just painted those on, painted those in, let it sit for a while, clean the brush up, and then trying out these AK weathering pencils. They were... Uh, I don't use them too often, so I kind of broke them out on this build to see kind of how they are. I kind of like them. I still need to play around with them a little more to kind of get what they're truly about, but uh, you, almost like a watercolor pencil, you draw on the car with the, or draw on the model with the pencil, and then you wet it to kind of actuate it, and it will either streak or, um, you know, give you some dirt or, or whatnot, but the water definitely actuates it a lot more. So you got to get it almost a little two little puddles here and there, and then kind of just run your pencil through the puddles and it actuates the pencil. As you can see on the top, I'm trying to slowly get the hang of it. And there's the finished product. Just a quick little build inspired by kind of a gig van to uh, rock the Gaslands universe. So until the uh, next build, we got a couple more in the works. Hopefully I can kind of get some videos edited and we'll uh, see you next time.